Okay, Glyn Jewis here again, and this time we're going to be talking about compositing images. I want to show you a technique that will take literally seconds where we can take something like the image that you see in front of you, which is a, a studio shot of a samurai against a grey seamless background, and in seconds put him into a completely different location like the one you see there. Now I'm not going to be covering how I've changed all the colouring and added the light in the top right of the picture, but I want to show you how the most important thing is how we can take an image in the studio with all the shadows and then realistically put him in a completely different location. So let's head over to Photoshop and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, so here we are now in Photoshop and in front of us we have the original studio shot of our samurai taken against the grey seamless background. And above that in the layers panel I've placed the location of where I want our samurai to be, which is this image here. Now, to make this composite, we're not going to make use of Refine Edge, we're not going to use channels, in fact we're not going to make any kind of a selection whatsoever. What we are going to do is to use blend modes, and in this particular case we're going to use the soft light blend mode. Before we do that, if we just take a quick look at the layers panel, we can just see the order that the layers need to be. We have our original shot, which is the studio shot of our Samurai as layer 1, and the location where we want him to be placed is actually layer 2, so that's placed above. All I need to do now is just change the blend mode of that layer 2 to soft light. And straight away, without making any kind of a selection whatsoever, we can see that he realistically even now looks as if he's been photographed in that location. So much so that even the shadows on the floor have been brought across from the original image. And we can see that if I just turn that layer on and off, we can see the shadows. Everything has been brought over without making not one single selection. Now, just one little side note. By the very nature of the way that soft light works, we do sometimes just get a little bit of contamination from the background coming through. And we can see that on the samurai's clothing here on his sleeve and also just a few traces of it on his skin. Now it's really easy for us to get rid of that. All we need to do is add a layer mask, a white layer mask to layer 2. Press B on our keyboards to get a brush and just make sure that we're painting with a black brush. And we can tell that by coming over to the tools bar on the left hand side and ensuring that our foreground colour is set to black. All we need to do then is just paint over the areas where we can see that contamination from the, the grey wall behind coming through onto our samurai. So we just need to quickly paint over certain areas like his clothing, on his face as well, just to remove it there. A little bit on that white cloth just on there. A bit on his front, there was a little bit on his hand. And then just down the floor here just to make sure that his feet we're looking realistically composited as well. Maybe just a few strokes on there. And that is it. As quick as that. One click of the mouse, we change the blend mode from normal to soft light, and then we can change the location of our studio shot into this grey, grungy concrete wall and floor. As quick as that. Seconds. Okay, that's all it needs to be. So, there you go. One quick tip in compositing. I'll see you next time.